my name is uh, Martin Narinawinda. I'm from Oshakati, Namibia. What brought me to Charles Missionary Church, I had a lot of problems, especially with the ministry. And I realized my prayer life was also going down. It affected me in so many ways because I could feel as I was struggling to keep my prayer life at the level where it used to be, there's a problem somewhere, somehow. What was happening is the prophecy that I received from Papa is that he saw a case of witchcraft where people want me dead because they say I'm bringing fire to the town. I do because a lot of people complain about me a lot of people speak bad of me. Uh, precisely, this is my first time to be in the house of the Lord. This is my home away from home. Whenever I'm in need of a solution, I know where to run to. He anointed me, and I fled like if a truck had lain over me. When you are a true child of God, the world will turn against you. But we must know. Where there is a problem, there is always a solution somewhere. It's for us to find where that solution lies. Like for me, I know when problems come my way, I know my refuge, place of refuge, of which is Charis Missionary Church. My name is uh, Malugutu Ephraim Nageng. I come from uh, Pretoria West. Uh, the reason why I came here today, uh, it was because I had challenges at work uh, uh, and uh, I had challenges with the, the board that regulates my work. So what happened is uh, my w at work uh, they, they, they terminated my contract and without uh, providing a reason why. There was no formal communication so that was it, uh, all the news that I, I received the news via verbal communication. Then, as well as the uh, from the uh, the medical board, still they gave me a verbal communication that uh, I'm suspended and I'm deregistered. Uh, my title as a doctor is deregistered. Yeah, so uh, and I'm under section 51, which means uh, impaired. I'm an impaired practitioner. No, it affected me a lot. I was uh, it was actually it gave me uh, depression. Because each and every morning when I wake up, uh, like I don't have enough energy, so I, do, I can't even plan ahead. I'm just mind blocked. So I was always un, 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 unhappy, unhappy, uh, and starting to lose weight. So it was affecting me very bad a lot. Uh, yes, I had a, a groundbreaking uh, prophecy with Prophet uh, by Magana uh, Apostle Apostle Magana Mesa. So uh, the outcomes were very fantastic, and uh, so he managed to foresee that you no, know, the, there was a, a, a hidden case on uh, under that section that I just mentioned, section 51. So he anointed me, he prayed for me that uh, he's going to demolish the case. Then the case is demolished now, and uh, the prophecy was that I'm going back to work. I, I, I'm very very excited. I'm, 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 I'm feeling, feeling, I'm feeling very, very, very happy because uh, the reason why I had a strong belief when I come here that you know what, really the outcomes must just be that, that the one that say I'm going back to work, yeah. Because if that was not the case, uh, the message that I was told from the office uh, of the supervisors and uh, the HR, inter uh, the, South, the national HR, I was told that, you know, I won't get a back, uh, work in South Africa anymore because of, of the section. So uh, I was losing hope, it's true, because uh, I was now th planning to become a taxi driver or a, a logistic driver, so of which uh, that d it does n uh, is not in keeping with my degree. So what was stressing me is that I cannot go to school for so long and acquire the knowledge and the skills and uh, at the end of the day it does not work for me. So I, I, I felt very bad. Yeah, I, 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 I felt very, very, very great. I felt spiritually 
connected. Uh, I feel that uh, you know what uh, I'm I'm seeing a, a breakthrough. Yeah. Okay. To my my, uh, uh, my, uh, my advice to anyone in the communities, in the societies, in the street, I would like to urge you to come out in numbers to come to. Uh, I recommend Charit's mission. Uh, church as under Apostle Makanamisa is the way out of all the problems, all the advers uh, adversities that you're going through. Yeah. Um, my name is Beatrice Donald. I'm married to a pastor. My husband is a pastor. Uh, the problem brought me here is uh, I was feeling pain on my womb. And um, when I met the father in the house, Prophet Apostle Makalanisa, uh, he told me that like uh, there are some witches walking around me, uh, and uh, there is something done to my life. They took something well, uh, when I was young, and uh, they did something I don't know. He know himself, and uh, that thing it's like they put the soil on the bottle, and then that bottle, they are boiling it. So when they boil that bottle, I feel pain on my womb. <laughs> so the father in the house told me that I should not worry. Jesus is going to deliver me. I'm delivered. He has already delivered me. Uh, you can see the video, the way he was delivered me. Um, I'm very happy, very, very happy, because when I was waiting to see father, I was feeling a big pain, big pain. And now, no pain, no pain at more at all. Yes, yeah, very true, very, very true. Yeah, he told me there are some three, three ladies. I don't know, women's. They are behind my problems. Uh, two, I know. When I don't know, he said one is very sick because I pray so much. So that prayers is backfiring to her. So she's very sick. Two, they're still walking around. And uh, he said my problem is over as he was speaking to me and he delivered me. I'm, f I'm feeling very light, very light. Before I was very heavy, very, very heavy. I can't sleep at night. And also he told me, I see you, you cannot sleep. You just hold your pillow, but someone can see you like you are sleeping, but you are not sleeping. That is very, very true, very, very true. And I said, I will testify with a baby. I don't want to say which sex, but a baby. Yeah, and uh, I must come here once I see the sign. I will come here with my husband to testify. Uh, what I can say to other women so, uh, who save the Lord and uh, they don't have fruit of the womb, or they are not blessed with the babies, uh, they have to trust to the Lord. Uh, like me, I was I uh, had that much trust in the in the Lord. Like even the the apostle said, I see you trust too much in the Lord. That is very true. You have to trust that there is a day for you, and every woman. Anybody need deliverance, and he has the right place to get deliverance. Even if you watch on your YouTube, you can see how people get delivered. You can see how I was delivered. Yes. Uh, my name is Andrew Ramabrana, and then I'm from Venda Dopeni. Um, the problem that came here was the confusion, and also uh, in, in uh, it was a problem of my relationship, and also uh, in business and ministry. In ministry, there was a, there was a, it was not it was a, there were some attacks that uh, that were facing, and also in my business there was a delay, and then in my relationship also there was attack. So there was attack everywhere. Uh, it affected my prayer life because um, sometimes I thought maybe God is not uh, there or maybe he's not hearing my prayers, because also I'm a servant of God, so it is not it was not easy. It was not easy. Yeah, but. Yes, by the grace of God, I was able to come here, even though it was not easy because I wanted to come here since uh, the beginning of the year. But I eventually arrived this today, and I'm really blessed to be in this place. Yeah, the man of God picked um, um, the, the issue of the relationship to say that I was having uh, confusion because he said um, he's seeing um, confusion in my relationship. Then I will confirm that to be true because at first, uh, before the recent relationship, uh, I was having confusion because 
in ministry, I had to be sure of which relationship I had to be in and uh, the partner that I have to be with. But um, today he said he confirmed that uh, the relationship that I'm with, I'm in right now, uh, is the relationship that God wanted me to be in. So I'm so happy. He said uh, he's seeing marriage and all that. So I'm really happy and blessed. I really thank God for that. Yes, he also prayed for me and I was, I was, I was free. I was free. <laughs> And I was delivered, so and anointed, and I really thank God for that. Um, the words of encouragement that I will give uh, the Charis, uh, the, the viewers, was, it will be that uh, keep on watching Charis TV and um, always believe what the man of God tells you, for it uh, will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. My name is Stephen Paladi. I am from Rustenburg. The problem that brought me here was I was looking for anointing, and I was also looking for a spiritual home. I was looking for spiritual parents, and it has been the case now for seven years. I went to many places, and the case would always be the same. I would be either rejected or disappointed at the, condi the spiritual condition of the house. I fell in love with Charis um, three years ago, and I've always desired to become part of the, the, the family here. Uh, today, Daddy said these words to me. He said, from now on, you are my child. And I have been waiting to hear that for a very long time now. I am very excited. I'm over the moon. Um, I'm trying to hold back the tears. And I know what it means. And I thank God so much for finally accepting me as part of this home and this family. The prophecy that I received today was, Daddy said, although you are, look you are looking for anointing, God is telling me that if I just prayed for you to receive the anointing, you would not be satisfied. I said, that is true, Daddy. He says, because you are looking for mentorship, you're looking for guidance. And he said, from now on, you are my child. And so that was the highlight of my coming here. I am very, very happy. I thank God for all that he has done. And I know that more will unfold as I submit in this home. Yes, Daddy did pray for me twice, and he, uh, there was an impartation, and as it usually happens, I was on the floor. I believe that the grace that I have received today, that will continue to be part of my life, is a tremendous grace, because I believe that everyone needs a mentor. And so, when God gives you a mentor, especially Apostle Maganisa and Mama, I, I know that that is true grace, so I th I'm really grateful for what I have received today, and I just want, I can't wait to see how it unfolds to the glory of God. Yes. I would really encourage every young minister everywhere to find a mentor, to find a spiritual father, and I would really even encourage you more to come here to this very home and submit here because I know the grace that is in this home will carry you through all the way to accomplish all that God has laid in your life. My name is Anna Noble. I was originally born from Kenya and now I reside in UK. I've lived there for 27 years and the reason why I came here is affliction on my boys. I have four boys and nobody listens to me and the devil has really destroyed their lives, their education, and they don't listen to me. They don't even come near me. Oh, as a mother, it breaks your heart. You know when your boys, they only text you when they want money, and they don't come near you. And these are your children, you're close to them, you've never thought about anything. And after I come back from prayers, they don't want to come near me. They run away, and I wondered, and I asked God, why are these children running away from me? And now the man of God has revealed so much for me, and everything is accuracy. I built a house in Kenya. I've been trying to sell this house for 12 years. It's a big mansion of nine-bedroom house, and this house is bringing death into my life and my children's life. And now, the man of God has told me I'm going to sell this house. He told me, Anna, I want this house out of your life because he can see the affliction that it's affecting me because it's affecting my life, my children's life, my work. 
even when I live in UK, I live in a small accommodation and he saw where I'm living. He went even into my bedroom and he asked, this is where you live? Because I was a woman who had everything and the devil just took everything from me. But I came here because I say I'm not going to lose my children. I have to deliver my children. That's the reason why I came here. Because I can't lose children because of the devil. Oh, yes. <laughs> when I came to church, the man of God saw the devil that walks with me everywhere. I'm not sure for how many years. But I know every plan of mine breaks. Everything I plan never come to pass. Anything revealed to me never come to pass. And that's why I arrived in this church the first day I arrived from UK. And the man of God saw the devil in, behind me. And he said, this devil has been living with you. And that's why he cast it out of me. And I felt free and thank you, Jesus, that I'm free. Amen. Oh, <laughs> you can see me smiling now because I feel so different. My stomach is on fire. And I'm, I'm glad that Jesus allocated me. Anybody who's out there and have affliction in their life, I know what affliction is. When you have boys living abroad, you know how to raise children in abroad, it's not easy. And the devil comes and touches each of them and they're well educated, it's, it's breaking a mother's heart. And I encourage anybody out there in the world, if you really wanna see the hand of God, come here. Nobody has paid me to say this, but I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart because I think everybody needs deliverance. Come here, get deliverance for you and your family so that you can be free the way I am free. I'll be back to testify so that you know the hand of God is working here. Amen, amen. Oh, my name is Solomon Doko. Originally I'm from Cameroon, but I reside in Pretoria, Sivatin. The problem that brought me to cherish missionary church, I wanted to meet the man of God one in one, and I wanted to have direction of my life. So when I meet the man of God, he gave me a word of prophecy. He says that there was a generational cases for fourth generation that have been stopping us. He said that I've tried to do business and I've failed for the business because of the generational cases. And he also gave me a prophecy of, of, of the calling of God upon my life. And he, he prayed for me, and he delivered me from the generational cases. Amen. Yeah, I can't say it's true because I tried to do business before. About 2012, I quit business. And currently, I'm still trying to do business from home, which I'm not full-time back into business. Like, I'm doing business now part-time, which a prophecy he gave about the business is true. Or oh, I feel fresh. I feel anointed, I feel energized for the journey ahead by the grace of God. Yeah, he did pray for me. I feel blessed. Amen. I would like to encourage viewers all over the way that whatever we have, whatever you might be passing through, don't run away from God. Run to God because behind every challenge, there is a hidden hand behind every hidden challenge. So if you have tried to do business or you have tried to settle down, whatever you try in life and you find out that things are not going the way you wish them to go, say God, look for a living church and offer your life.